Hi there, it's Crafty Jennabug. Welcome to the first installation of me decorating this junk journal. I have a few ideas, I'm kind of inspired. Um, initially, I was thinking about just going from page one, using it essentially like a daily journal you know, one would like one would use in a, a daily journal, but I've decided against that. I think I'm just going to work in it intuitively, what I'm inspired each day to do, that sort of thing, and see how I feel about it. Um, I have another journal that I use for like personal journaling, and I don't really know that I want to blend the two. So I guess this would be taking on more of like an art journal kind of thing. <laughs> I guess this would be more like an art journal versus like a daily writing down things that happen to me kind of journal. So I figured that out at least. It, it was really bugging me. I, I wasn't sure how I should approach it. Um, but I, I think I'm just going to go with the intuitive as I'm feeling it kind of thing. So with that said, I have picked a page for the first decoration. I've got this. I use that as a bookmark. These page, this page specifically, but I may do something on the back of this envelope pocket to accommodate. Now I have this plastic goodie bag from um, this last December. I, I made goodie bags for my daughter's class and this was left over and it fits the theme. So I think I'm going to use it as a pocket, but I got to get a background, right? I have this gorgeous tissue paper. Look at how beautiful and silver that is. And the theme, the color scheme for this journal is really like blues, grays, silvers, whites. That's the theme I'm trying to stick in. And when I found this in my stash, I said, well, it has to happen. So I think I might just cover this whole page in this glorious tissue paper and it covers up the UPC pretty well. So we're going to do that first. I really like that. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a spot here and a spot here and then all around the edges, except for this bottom edge. I think I want to dry brush on this. All right, I think I'm going to use this bright blue acrylic paint and dry brush over some of this texture. Hopefully it works out the way I want it to. I'm not very experienced with dry brushing, so I've got some scrap paper here to clean my brush off. So I have this tab, I think it was made out of a piece of like wallpaper, and it looks like it would make a really cool page tab. It's not the right color blue for this side, it also sticks out a lot, so maybe I'll cut it down. But this side is blank, and I thought about coloring it, or painting it the same blue color. Let's see how I like it. Let me see what I can do about a belly band. Maybe a snippet roll. All right, because I haven't taken on enough for myself, <laughs> I decided I wanted to make a belly band down that silver page. So I'm gonna make a nice snippet roll that I can use throughout this journal, keeping with the white, silver, blue, snowflake kind of theme. So first thing I will do, is glue these two together. All right, I am going to like speedily collage on this. And I have all sorts of goodies 
cutoffs from the scrapbook paper I used for pages in here. That just looked cool. So, page cutoffs. This looks like it could be a cool background for to build up on. I'm not sure. I think I might not use this. And then this, again, this looked like it would be something easy to pull out. These bigger ones I want to use as pockets. And maybe this one. So, I also have gone through my scraps. I found this little guy I didn't realize I had. Oh, I think that's left over from the penguin on one of the Defemerember days, I think day three, when I was testing out stamps. So that looked like it would be cool to just, you know, rip out and stick on there. A little accent. I have this paper, which I think is also, might not be from that day, but it's shimmery and grayish blue. Seemed like it would fit. Um, distress spray like backing pages or protecting pages. This has some swirls in it, looked cool. Same spray spray, R random book page. This I did not use in this, but it fits the color scheme. Ooh, I like that a lot better than the front. And then this also some spray and some random letters. I could probably do January on it. Hmm. So now, I've got everything covered for the most part. I got that spot there, but pretty much everything is covered. And now, I just want to go through and like fill in the chinks, so to speak. All right, I pulled out all of my wintry stamps. I've got this. This is the one I used when I made those. This is from Inkadoo. It is the Winter Trails 98394. I have these G Studio stamps. Uh, series 21 VC0001. I think I'm just going to use that snowflake. I am using Permanent Mixed Media Pal Ink Palette. I'm probably going to use either the Hickory Smoke or the Black Soot. I also went through my rubber stamps and I have some random little Winter Wonderland, this little snowflake, snow fun, let it snow. And then I have these two as well. I also pulled out a few others. This is a French blue Nicole brand ink pad. A Studio G ink pad in a blue. It doesn't have the name. And this one from Crafter's Closet. And they're not permanent, but I'm not that worried about it. I really just want to test out the different stamps and different colors. I do think I want to do some stamping directly on here, but I also want to do stamping on other paper and then rip it out. I really like the gray. I'm going to go ahead and tear these out. Yeah, I really like that gray. And that, I believe, is the hickory smoke. This, I'm not sure what color it is. I think it's actually a purple, but I really like it. It kind of goes with this. So I have those. And I want to stamp directly on here a little bit, but I want to test out some of these stamps so I know what they look like and what colors I want to use, you know what I mean? So let's just play around a little bit.
that's pretty good, actually. I think I like that. Let's give it a look. Okay, I like that. Awesome. I'm gonna call this snippet roll done. And then, so I'm gonna clean up my desk and we'll get back to decorating the page. All right, now that I have had a little break from the page to make this belly band, or this snippet roll, I gotta figure out what part of it I want. You know what? I think I like that part the most. Sweet. Okay then, let's clip here. And so with a belly band, you glue across the top and the bottom. So, while that's going on, I want to do something with this side. I want to do a little distress spray on here. But I don't want my book to get ruined. So I'm going to stick this under there. I don't care if the other pages get some of this blue on it. Actually, I do. There. If this one gets blue on it, I don't really mind. I don't want this one to get sprayed on. So. All right, all right. This has been, has been dried. I really like this outline, or uh, yeah, the outline that spraying has created. I think that's really neat adds a little element. I might have to work around that. This, I want to put a pocket. Then I have this silver piece that was left over from this, and I want to stick it. I know what I'll do. I'm actually going to stick it underneath, and then I've got some lace. I want to put on there also. Then I have this lace, and now that I look at it, I kind of think it would look good there. I thought about putting it down here. But I like it better here. Well, this needs to dry. For sure. I do like what I've got going on up here, but I think I want some white splatters for snow before I leave it to dry. Awesome. Yeah, that definitely needs to dry. And then I'll be back to finish working on it. All right, these have dried. Got my little pocket just to show you how well it works. Kind of want to make something for it, but I'm not sure what. I did, <laughs> you already saw it, but I those G Studio stamps had a few... Um, wintry phrases on them. Baby, it's cold outside, let it snow, and burr. And I just stamped a few of them on these papers. I want one of them to go over here. I think I'll do let it snow. It gets lost there though, I want it. I also have this guy that I was planning on using here. I could let it snow on there. Do something else. Also, 
So both of these pages need some sort of ephemera. I do like the way that looks sticking out there though. And I could use, there we go. I could use some of this lace on there, kind of tie the two pages together. No, I like that, but I don't like this there. I did get a couple of new Distress Oxide inks. I think frayed burlap would look really good. All right, while that dries, I've decided I want to make a little booklet for that pocket. I thought about doing just a tag, but I've changed my mind. I have these two um, subscription cards, and if you've seen a previous video, when I started first started junk journaling, I used some subscription cards to make a little booklet. If you want to see that, I can link that down below. Um, and I want to do that again for that little pocket. And I think what I will do is paint these with a coat of white. That way I don't necessarily have to just cover them in paper. So that's what I will do now. While the glue is drying, I'll make something else that needs to dry. All right, gotta let that dry and then I'll do a second coat. So, <laughs> these I have done two coat, or I did th two additional coats of white acrylic paint for a total of three coats of white paint. And then once they were dry, I used the heat gun to dry them. I used some clear gesso on top because I wanted to kind of seal it in. So they are very textured, they are glorious. I'm not gonna do anything to this side yet because I think I'm. these are gonna be the outside covers and inside I'm gonna just put some paper to um, scrapbook on, or put some paper to journal on. What I wanna do is try out some of these ink pads I got today. I ended up getting a tumbled glass and a frayed burlap and I think I'm going to use an acrylic block and some water and dribble. <laughs> Alright, these have dried. I absolutely love how they've turned out. I think that's really fun. The other sides, I am simply going to cover in paper, and this is a little bit thicker. I've, picked, I've chosen these. They're not quite the right tones, but I think they look good. They can both, I wanted them to be journal spaces and they can both be written on. So that's what I'm going to do next. I will close it like this. I love them so much. All right.
Gonna let that dry. In the meantime, and this is page one and two out of a week. Yeah, I got some. I got some more crafting to do. Let's see. We can do the other side of this. Not sure yet. Okay, I think. All right, I think the next page I want to work on is here. I want to decorate this and then glue this down so that it's a pocket. Um, I gotta be careful what I use because I don't want it to bleed through. Although this is acrylic ink, so it's not gonna be too bad. All right, I decided I want to paint this page. And I'm going to use a mix of country gray and white. And I'm just going to do like a textured, I just want some texture. Oh, you know, I just realized it's going to look a lot like the other side. got that. I love the way that looks. This is dry now. I dried it with the heat gun. And I want to take this tumbled glass distress oxide ink and just one of the little foamies. some sort of collage here in grays I think so let me find some grays all right so I didn't film it but I made a little collage out of some scraps and one of the snowflakes I had um, made out of a stencil and then a stamped snowflake here and I like it I want to put a button right here but before I do I want to take some of my scrap of thread and thread it through. Maybe this blue? <laughs> well, there we go. That page is done. I do want to make a tag for in there. So I will work on that while this dries. Alright, this is dried and I found this tag in my stash. I know it's got colors in there that are not part of my color scheme, but I'm going to overlook that for now <laughs> because I think it looks so cute in this pocket. Like I just, I can't say no to that. So I want to add a silver eyelet. All right. So that is my tag. I added the eyelet and then I had some eyelash yarn in two different thicknesses. One is a white fluffy one and one is like a fancy fur, fun fur style. And I thought that would look really cute. Yes. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now I also have this label that I think I want to add. All right, I have glued that down. It needs to dry. So this page feels done. I can always add a, um, a label here if I feel so inclined. This, I love. I love it. I just love the whole thing. So this needs to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to stick this in here so that it doesn't stick to the next page. Go back to here. My little booklet has dried. And I think I'm going to leave it as is. I'll just slide it on in there. I love it. I could also put it back here. I wonder if it would fit better there. It 
might fit better there, actually. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure. For now, I've decorated the page. The ephemera can come later, but I do like this better on this page than in here. So, let's see. That's one, two, three pages for this video. I'm still not happy with this. Oh, I think I want a flower here. Let me look through my... Um, magazine. Flower. Okay, so I think this page feels complete now. I added a flower made out of multiple different um, magazine pages and scrapbooking pages. I just folded them up and cut them out. I've got a video I can link if you're interested in how I made these. It's something that I'd like to do in the evenings. Just sit down and cut little flowers out, little flower pieces, and then piece them together later when I'm looking for something to add to a page or a piece of ephemera. So that is that. This page is done. Although this feels a little unfinished. That's one thing about junk journaling. It always kind of feels unfinished, right? And then we've got over here, this page, the glue's not quite dry yet. This video seems to have become quite long so I think I'm just gonna leave it at three days worth of pages and hopefully I will get a little faster for some of the other ones but I've stuck with it it is January 3rd as I'm working on this and I have three pages decorated so I'm still on track which is awesome these are wet like I said so I can't quite get them all right, I'm not going to close the this yet because it's still wet. So that is that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm enjoying myself immensely. Um, it's a fun challenge to create something every day. And I really, really like that. First three days of crafting in my... January junk journal, getting the year off right, getting the year started off right, yeah. This has been fun, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this video edited and put out. Maybe I'll do every couple of days, it depends on how long the videos will be, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I did, and uh, yeah. I'll be back with more junk journaling content in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.